Hello, Internet. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the idle gear called RDG 5772Z model number. That's the model number on a Technics RS-TR333 cassette deck. This gear is also used on other Panasonic, Sony, I think, uh, and Technics products. Um, the gear is located right here on the cassette deck. Um, this is the main mechanism. This gear can also be replaced from the other side of the deck since this is a two deck system. Uh, same mechanism, same kind of procedure. All right, step one, we'll keep this short. You're gonna wanna move these pinch rollers. They will be located on these dowels right here. All right, these dowels. And how it will be is these will face down onto like this and there will be a tab right here. You're gonna pull that tab back and then these will slide right off. Uh, be careful not to break that tab. And that'll go the same for this side as well. You just gotta pull this little black tab back and it should just come right off. Next, you're gonna wanna unscrew the head. One screw here, one screw here. You're gonna need a screwdriver like this. This is a hyper tough 77 piece electronic repair kit. You're gonna need something like this, something small like that and with enough leverage to pull or twist actually. Um, these screws are tight. I'm not saying super tight, but they are tight. I had to put one hand on the back of this thing and push down on this and jerk it like an impact to get them off. I did not strip them, thankfully, but you will need something like that. Um, maybe mine are just tight, but that's what needs to happen. And then once you get these loose, I thought I'd do this on camera. You put it in there and then you should just be able to unscrew. And then once it's kind of unscrewed, you want to just take your hand in there. Once it's fully unscrewed, and pull out that screw, okay. I don't know why it's not unscrewing. Well, it is unscrewed, it's just that screw doesn't wanna kinda, kinda come out. Let's see. That's gotta be unscrewed right now. Okay, well, uh, let's do the other one here. There's gonna be another screw right there. Let's unscrew that fully. There, all right, and when that happens, you should just be able to pull the head right off. Come on, I know you wanna come along here. I'm only using one hand for this, obviously, because I don't have another hand to hold this camera or my phone. Oh, there, and then it will be kind of lodged. Uh, I wanna get these screws out. Yep, right there. These screws will come out. Careful with them, do not lose them. I have a magnetic tray right here that I'm setting them in. Oop. And then this little cord will be pinched in between here. This can just get pulled out. Careful, do not pull on these. You do not wanna accidentally rip one of these tire wire, tiny wires out of their place on the head. Try not to touch the head while you're at it as well. You don't wanna get it dirty. All right, now we're down to surprisingly the last step, at least of getting to the gear. Um, it's very easy. All you do is you take this. Oh, I'm going to have to do this with one hand. All right. I'm going to set you guys up. Like that. If it's going to want to stay set up. Let's grab something here. Sorry. Uh, I'm working on a phone right here. All right. This is very easy. Let's face it towards you like this. All right, all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna push down. And then it'll pop out like that. Like that, and then that will come off. And then you have access to the gear. That's the gears right here, this little gear right here, and you can just pull it right out. And let's compare old gear to new gear. These gears are available to the be bought on eBay. I think they're like, I accidentally bought eight of them. Um, I paid $60 for eight of them. Yep, $60 for some little plastic gears. Sadly, but I guess I have spares. All right, let's compare old to new. This is the old gear right here, all yellowed. You know, to be honest, if you actually take a look at these gears, and you try and bend them, they're flexible. Look at that. 
They are flexible. Oh, focus, come on. Yeah, they're, they're flexible. And to really break them, to be honest, you have to like really rip at it and then them tear like that. Stupid little tiny, it's almost like a rubber gear, to be honest. It's like that. But the new gear, I don't think, yeah, the new gears are not flexible. <laughs> Do not try and flex these, these are hard plastic. Uh, right here, here it is. This is the new gear, pure white plastic, right there. And then all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna slip it onto its little dowel and carefully just kinda massage it in. There, mine went in nice and easy. It'll go in between this little gear right here and this big one right here. Just kinda massage it in and it should just slide right in. All right, procedure for putting it back together, very simple. All you're gonna wanna do is set this thing right down here and then here comes an important step that I frankly missed the first time I was doing this. Um, there is a, where's my pick? Right here. There is a, a little black thing right here that goes down and it goes under this spring. What you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna wanna take that spring and you're gonna pry it up. Let's see if I can do this here. Pry it up and over that black thing right there. And then the cassette thing should just pop right in. And then just kind of, let's see here, come on, get in. Sometimes you gotta kind of fit in with it. Okay, it might take a couple tries to do it. So yeah, let's get that off of there. You're just gonna slip it over and then there. I think I got it. Push that. Yep, there. That little black thing. Here, let me get my pick here again. This phone does not want to stay up. There. Let's hold this with one hand. This little thing right here is gonna go under this black spring. You need to have it go under that spring. Otherwise, this is very hard to do and you won't be able to do it because it needs to go in there. And then the mechanism is back together. And then you have that little new gear in there. And then as for putting it back together, all you're gonna wanna do is screw your head back on. Um, make sure on the head, actually, I might wanna show this on camera. Uh, there is a little, you see this little thing right here? This little tab controls the head. And on decks like these, right here, the head flips back and forth by the access of that um, thing right there, there are gears in there. And you'll hear, when you when you play the tape on a different way, it'll go flip it and put it back down. And then that little thing is actuated through a little mechanism right here. See that little plastic or metal guy right there? Right there. That's what that's on. And then when you're putting this back in, you're gonna wanna make sure you have it going in the right way. And then just, it should, to be honest, kind of just slide in. Yep, just like that. Presses right in. And then that lines up like that. And your head's on. Obviously not fully on, but it's on. You're gonna wanna set it down like that. And then take your screws. Um, do not make the mistake of tightening these down super tight. I didn't make that mistake, but I'm sure those screws have been in there since whenever this cassette deck was made. I don't know, probably late 80s, early 90s and then you're just gonna to wanna to screw them in. Again, this thing isn't gonna get much sort of vibrational use to the point where these things are gonna to need to be super tight. Just kinda of tighten it. There, that should be just fine. That shouldn't be coming off anytime soon. Ooh. Just kinda of hand tight, not finger tight, hand tight. And then you'll get your other screw right here. Stupid phone. I wish I could prop this up against something here. Let's use this. Right there. All right. So then you're gonna just wanna prop it up and then put the screw onto the bit right there if it's magnetic, which is a lot help. Okay. Let's magnetize this real quick. All you do for magnetizing these things, you just rub it in there, just kind of move it around a little bit, and then it should be magnetized. All right, and then you just put the screw on there. Try and hold it downward, because it's not meant to hold that much, and then put it in the hole and screw it in. 
Careful not to cross thread. You do not want to cross thread these things. I'm gonna hold it up to make sure I'm not cross threading it. Yep, I'm not. And then, oop, and then just tighten it down. Again, they don't need to be super tight, just kind of oop, right there. That should be good. And then always make sure to put the cord back into where its respected spot is. Just slide it into here, back down into there, like that. And you have repaired it. Now, um, as of about how I took this whole thing apart, I will actually show you how I got it all apart. I have all the components right here. Um, screen, power supply, headphone jack and power button, and then all the front fascia and stuff, all the kind of body mounting. And then I also have the main board right over here. There is a thing online. I will show you that if I can actually pull it up real quick. Let's go to my recents. Hope I can find this. It's probably way down. To music. Uh, some manual. Boom. I think right here is it. Shop Fixamen. Bing, bing. That's where I bought the gears. Uh, the website, I think, is called Manuals with a Z. Technics, service menu. Right here. Let's go over here. And then, yep, see right there. That's what the thing is. Service manual. Do the little thing right there. And then you can download it. Let's see if I can get to my downloads real quick. I'll go into files for that. It's free to download, so don't buy it online. Just go it online. It's not that hard. Let's see here. What would this be as? Uh, let's go to my downloads. Unconfirmed. Okay. Well, I can't show you the download I have right now. But, um, yep, this is the manual. Let's see. Can I just access it? Hey, we'll just download it right here. And then just wait for it to load. It's a PDF. Let's wait for it to download. Open file. And there you are. This is the entire thing on how to take this thing apart from first to finish. It even shows you content, safety precaution, all the contents it had. And all the way at the bottom, this is the instructions on how to take everything apart. Let's go all the way. Ooh, yeah, see, big stuff like that. That's what I mean. There's wiring diagrams and everything. Is that the parts list? Nope. Boom, um, right here. There's partlets. And I'll see if I can find that gear for you. Let's zoom in here. Uh, the gear number will be 108. 108 and 208. 108, yep. Oh, okay, so that's actually the gear right there. RDG5772ZC. That's the model number. 108 gear. Right there. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you.